Hello everyone. Thank you for joining this training session on hints and tips to use load templates. This video will cover everything you need to know about creating templates and how to use them when adding your loads to your project. When creating your sizing, sometimes you notice that some loads are being added constantly with the same parameters. GenSelect allows you to save those loads into templates and refer to them every time you need those loads. This helps you save time and effort and size more efficiently. To get started, let's go to the My Gen Select menu on the top of the screen, and here you can find the option My Loads. Let's click on it. This is the page where you can manage your load templates. On the top of the screen, you can see a list of pre-configured loads that you can select from. To create a template, simply click on one of those load types that you want, and the dialog box will appear. Here you can define all the parameters that you want, such as quantity, starting method, type, the unit of measure, and others, according to what's most commonly used on your projects. To create a template, there are only two mandatory items, the load name, and this needs to be a unique name for a load, and the output rating. That allows you to build up the load exactly how you want to use them on future projects. Once you're happy with all the parameters, you can click on Save and the load template is created. You can now see the templates in your My Loads page. I will now create a new template, this time using a lighting load. If you want to change the parameters of a template you have created, all you'll need to do is click on the load name that are displayed on this list. This will open again the load template and you can add it as you want. If you want to delete a template, simply click on the X at the end of the row that you want to remove. GenSelect will ask you to confirm and after that, the load template will be deleted. Now let's go to the Add Loads tab of a project. I will create a new three-phase project. I'll add the name for it, and this will allow me to quickly move to the Add Loads tab. Now let's use our templates to add loads. First, I'll select a load that I have created a template. I'll add now a lighting load. You can see that on the top of the dialog box, a new option has appeared. This is where you can select the template you created. By selecting the default option, this will allow you to add a new load as you would normally do it. But if you click on it, you can see that the load template name that you created is available. Once you select your template, you can see that all the parameters of the load are changing according to what we defined in our template. If you hit save, the load is added to your project. I'll add now a three-phase model load that I also created a template. While sizing a generator set, sometimes you see yourself adding the same load over and over, or you add a load that you might think it can be used on a future project. In order to create that load template, you don't need to leave your project and go back to the My Loads menu. You can already create a load template directly on the Add Loads tab. I'll add now a new lighting load to demonstrate that. Let's say this time you want to add an incandescent light type. At the bottom of the load dialog box, you can see a checkbox that says save as template. If you check that box, when you hit save, that load will now be added to your load template list. Remember to adjust the load name at the top before saving. Now 
Now, if I try to add a lighting load again, I can see both templates that I created. You can create as many templates as you want for all the load types. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching.